in this video we'll be looking at when you need to change or may not need to change your spark plug and this spark plug here came from this Toyota Vitz three cylinder engine all right so one of the first thing that we need to do is to establish if the spark plug is in working order now we need to consider the resistance of the spark plug so the resistance of the spark plug is usually between the the 5 kilo ohm to 6 kilo ohm range or 5000 to 6000 ohms range so what i'm going to do is to use a multimeter to find out if the spark plug resistance is within that reading that i had just mentioned so switching the meter to the appropriate ohmic reading and this is 2000 this is this is two two hundred thousand this is twenty thousand so selecting to twenty thousand because two thousand is too low so here i already have the negative lead of the meter connected to this terminal and i'm going to use this one to check the positive terminal of the spark plug and look at the meter to see what reading we're going to get so i'm going to pull up this a little closer so at least we can see the reading there so it's not recommended while you're doing a resistance reading to to put your hand or ground your hand on any of the electrodes any at all so it is best that you keep your hands off the electrode and ensure that the the um the leads touch the ear of the spark plug that you want it to touch so here this small piece right here is what you want to touch with the meter so touching it and looking at the reading so the reading see if i can move the wire touching it so now the wire in the way having some problem with this meter so going back to touch the area of the spark plug and then look at the reading the reading is 5000 and 5250 ohms because i had put it on the 20 kilo ohm reading so this is a reading that is within the reading range for this spark plug so what this tells me is that the spark plug is a workable spark plug and if for any reason you have to change a spark spark plug in your vehicle the spark plug could be used as a replacement so here we have the testing of the spark plug and this fall within the range that you want it to fall now sometimes the problem is not necessarily with the spark plug itself because looking at this different spark plug you can notice at the top here that it is very black so you notice that carbon is building up on the spark plug and what this means is that the engine is burning oil and so this spark plug may not be the problem here so but for this video we're looking mainly at the spark plug so this is what we're doing now so concluding is that even though a spark plug may be this black at the tip it may not be the problem with the spark plug but with the burning of oil in the engine so you can basically clean the tip of the spark plug like this one here this is not so clean but you can clean it a little better using a fine very fine sandpaper to do the cleaning but don't rub too hard on the electrode so that you can remove most of these black particles and reuse a spark plug once it is within the range the resistant range that you really are looking for so again spark plug may not need to be changed so you can do some maintenance some cleaning but another thing is that if you have to remove your spark plug too frequent and clean it that is not good because there is a washer that is here and this washer is called a crush washer so whenever it is screwed down into the area where the spark plug goes it it crushes a little creating a seal so every time you remove the spark plug and re-screw it 
you have the problem of the, the washer already been crushed so it is not sealing as proper as it should so if you realize that you have to do frequent removal of the spark plug and cleaning it's not a good thing to do so in a case like that it is best you buy a set of new spark plug but removing it one or two times to do the cleaning should be fine so again thank you for watching please subscribe and have yourself a nice time